and welcome everybody. My name is Sebastian. I work as a crawl engineer at Common Crawl. We are a non-profit founded in 2007 and our aim is to lower the barrier to the web as a dataset. Instead of running your own large-scale crawl, which is expensive and challenging, use the Common Crawl web archives and focus on using the data but not on data collection. Since 2012, for 10 years now, the Common Crawl dataset is hosted in the cloud as part of Amazon Web Services Open Data Sponsorships program. And that's what I want to talk about today. What does hosting a dataset in the cloud mean for both us and the users of the data? The cloud platform provides data storage, computing power and services, but also software and documentation how to use these resources. The data, the web archives are shared on the cloud data storage. Optionally, the cloud computing can be used by the data provider to run the crawler and data preparation pipelines, but also by the data users to run the data processing. Tools and documentation are required to enable the users to work with the data using the cloud computing resources. Or, because some users work outside the cloud or on different cloud platforms, using software and tools not bound to the cloud. This and supporting users with quite different backgrounds and levels of experience can be a challenge. Okay. Before we look at the data usage, let's quickly introduce the data itself. We crawl and store only HTML pages, not preserving the visual page. Pages are sampled based on hyperlinked network centrality, the crawler behaves very polite, respects the robots.txt, etc. The data is stored primarily as WARC files, but we also provide metadata and text exports a CDX index both as files and as a service, host and domain level web graphs, a columnar index which integrates well with big data cloud services. The data formats, especially the secondary ones, can evolve over time, but we are conservative in changing the set of provided formats. How do we support our users to process the data? We provide examples how to process the work files, metadata and text extracts, or how to create the columnar index. The examples include programming code and documentation and are based on big data tools to allow to scale up. Although easily extensible, there is no guarantee that a particular use case is covered in our examples. With support in a public discussion group and by keeping also our crawler and tooling open source, we try to stimulate an open do-it-yourself culture. This idea to build an open community around the data actually works out to open source communities. With competition and no focus on a particular use case, programming language or platform, reinventing the wheel again multiple times. Anyway, there are great contributions from our users. More examples, tutorials and blog posts addressing concrete use cases, specialized tools, research papers and targeted datasets. Including Corpora for low resource languages, to grab or search for keywords in WARC or web files, feed a full text index from web archives, link analysis, web graphs and many more. The preferred programming languages are Python and Java, but also Shell, Scala, Go, JavaScript and Rust. Topics in research publications citing common crawl are natural language processing. This makes for sure about 90% of the research as can be seen by this word cloud from publication titles and snippets. Other covered topics are information retrieval, web science, data semantic web, internet security, and more occasionally, market research or political sciences. 
The most valuable user contributions are datasets extracted or derived from common crawl and targeted to a specific use case or user group. These include natural language corpora, large web text corpora, parallel texts to train machine translation systems, or collections of Creative Commons licensed content. Language models, for example, word embeddings, linked data extracted from semantic web markup is a relations and web tables, hyperlink web graphs, or for example, a dataset measuring and tracking activities. We've seen what users produce with the data. Let's now look what data formats are actually used. The two middle columns in the table on the right show the percentage of occupied storage and request volume by format in 2021. For example, work files occupy, occupy almost 70% of the storage and contribute little over 50% of the request volume. The walk files were read 14 times in 2021, an approximation ca calculated by dividing the request volume by the storage volume. What we, can, what we can see from the numbers. Users prefer processed, condensed, smaller formats, namely the text extracts and indexes. The bot metadata extracts are less popular despite their smaller size compared to the walk format. The color of a K index is the most heavily used data format. If you also take the capture or release time of the archives into account, the picture of data usage becomes more complex. Common crawl users generally prefer to use recently harvested web data. Text extracts and the parquet index seem to be more popular for longitudinal studies or use cases requiring a lot of data. Because our mission is primarily to enable the use of web data, we may need to improve the tooling and the documentation for the ARC files captured between 2008 and 2012. Also, the what metadata and hyperlink extracts could be replaced by a format easier to process. Summary. The cloud is more than just a hosting platform. But we need to support our users to work with the data and to use the cloud as a working environment. Then there is a good chance that users will contribute back in form of tutorials, examples and software. Current cloud users are most interested in textual content and natural language processing and prefer recent captures, smaller secondary data formats, or formats with good tooling available. Thank you.